Hey there guys, it's Sam here and we have a brand new video tonight. It's Sand River. This is a fun map queuing east, especially west, not as much. Let's get started. First tank destroyer on overlook from the middle and he is guarding over this heavy tank who's looking right along this lane there for shots into the E row corridor. Moving into the north through the zero line are going to be of course your medium and light tanks looking to transition into A7 and move forward there. Spawn 2 from the east. This is a south side push. You see the heavies and mediums come all the way through the K row. Now, the route you take on the dunes is going to be very similar to the line drawn here. Your goal is to hide your tank for as much of the time as possible and then eventually get onto this lane. What that's going to do is prevent you from taking most any arty fire. Now, this F7 position is played by the tank destroyer, looking on that same lane. And finally, we have a light tank in A90, who's giving vision but not crossing into A7. How about the west side? A couple different plays here going on. Starting on the one line, we have the heavy tank looking to play aggressive. He's going to stop at about G. H1. And he's going to be countering anything that comes through here, All right? Tank destroyer set up on the typical TD ridge. Two lanes of fire out into the middle. He's supporting the medium tank here. Now there's a bubble around the medium because he's going to be flexing either south, east, or north. He can go any direction from here, but that C67 point is a great fulcrum point for him. And finally, A7, our light tank, is providing vision and looking to spot up into this corner. Lastly, West spawn number two. Tank destroyer is again on the hill, but he's now able to look into that G1 F2 position. This is only going to be useful if you're a tank destroyer with good frontal armor. It doesn't have to be tier 10, but easy examples are going to be things like E3, 155, Yagi 100, those kinds of tanks. If you're a waffle, tier 8, something squishy, Yag Panther 2, playing D2 is not going to be a good spot. You're going to get shot up. C6 is going to be played by our heavy tank at that fulcrum position once again, going east, south, or north. And now the north is going to be pushed aggressively. The medium tank comes up in here, gets underneath the enemy's ridge, and the light tank is providing both vision and then hopefully pushing across with the med. If the fight gets tight there, the heavy tank can flex up. If it's totally overwhelming here, the medium backs off and the light provides eyes. That's it for Sand River, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Happy pubs, and I'll see you later.